Here's a tiny cricket. Here's a tiny dwarf tarantula called a Cochiana brunipes. Let's see if this little one is hungry. Yay! First Cochiana Brunipes swing feeding that I have actually witnessed. Let's try to feed my skittish little Nandu Chromatis. This one just looks around for a place to hide, so... Maybe I can carefully tease some interest. All right, well, thought it was worth a try. One day, maybe this one will eat on camera. Wanted to find a small cricket and see if my Uathla species red will go for it. This one also has yet to eat on camera. Been giving it pre-kill for a long time. A lot of these slings tend to run away if you give them that's too big so I happen to have a bunch of pinhead crickets no 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 <laughs> no no sport get your cricket little fingers sometimes it's funny that's how a name comes about you know like just messing around with them and just as some nickname comes out that ends up being their name like Little thing, it's not gurgle. I think those are the best names. I like, I like it when the names just happen naturally. We have some hot weather over here. It's, it's about 97 um, outside, and I'm in my tarantula room. I've got electronics going, and it's making it hotter in here, plus the humidity. So I'm just dripping with sweat. Well, I think that we just have one that wants to get away from crickets. Here's my little Euapalastris campostratus. I don't know. If the tong feeding will work in this case. Oh, well, oh, you see him down there with the cricket? Come make the biscuit serities. Bam, that was a takedown. Well, that's it. Three little crickets. Dang!
Rocky Poma Classy. Okay. Well, that was it. Haplocosmia Himalayana. Aponopoma Chalcides. I'm coming, sweetheart. Just hold on. Gotta grab this poor cricket that escaped and went for a walk. Huh. You don't want it? You just came out to show me, hey, this is my burrow and I don't want any. I guess she just came out to say go away, I suppose. Um, here we are looking at the uh, layer of my Aphonopelma simani, who is down there inside this little burrow. Feed. We'll see how this goes. Oh, well, that's very interesting. That's, that's trying the tong feed. It's, uh, now either I startled, startled the little one or beautiful though. What a beautiful one. Look at you. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time and uh That was very interesting. First we get a threat posture. Maybe I just uh woke woke this little one up unexpectedly. It could also be I was wondering if perhaps this one wasn't wild caught. It sure has been restless. Um I know my Aphonopelma calcades was very restless as well. It took her a while to settle in. Maybe this one's just older. Um, it does have at least a, approaching a five inch leg span. Um, that's not confirmed male or female yet. I mean, kind of looks like it could be a, a male if I were just to say looking at the vent, but I don't feel comfortable trying to sex it that way. Uh, so I'm still waiting to find out for this one to molt. Well, I'm glad I didn't give up spoot. I'm guessing we might take another. Oh yeah. So I think that was just a threat posture, you know, meaning leave me alone. I'm just speculating, you know, that I, this is a wild caught tarantula who may not be very happy about being in captivity and now it has made this nice little burrow here and is getting and is being disturbed technically i'm disturbing i'm disturbing the peace and um it makes complete sense to me that i would see a threat posture because i haven't really bothered this one for a few weeks now. Um, it's been very peaceful in here, getting really settled in and not as restless anymore, not crawling around the cage. Um, I set up this little burrow and has been very quiet. So, so I think I just was, was an, an intruder. And I definitely don't take the threat po push posture, the threat pose uh, personally. Yeah, that looks like it just wants to go down into the burrow and, and be left alone. And that makes me feel good that they've made a home and they feel safe. And it's it's pretty much the same with my Aphonopelma um, calcades. Um, I think she's feeling safe now. And the Pelanobius muticus. Definitely, 
That one does not want anyone bugging her. And that's a good sign. So what I'm observing here is a tarantula that has gone face down into its burrow with its prey and is ready to kick some hair. So it just wants to eat in peace. I'll definitely say for all of the digging that this one has done, the burrow is quite shallow. And uh, I'm willing to bet that this one would probably take one more. These crickets are not very uh, large. There you go. Now there's a mouthful. I, uh, I'm wondering if this one isn't going to molt soon. Um, I mean, not immediately, but within the near future. So that's my Phonopelma simani, folks.